The Deliberate Stranger, a story of murderer Ted Bundy, concludes tonight on this station. The actor portraying Bundy is Mark Harmon, formerly of St. Elsewhere. Talking with Harmon via satellite, I raised a question that's still puzzling people. What was it about Ted Bundy that made his victims trust him? Where did that electric Bundy personality come from? You know, Peter, I don't know how to answer that really, except to say that there was certainly a side of Ted Bundy that was very charming, very manipulative. Uh, he was certainly a good-looking man. Uh, he was certainly capable of using that to any means he, he wanted. I'll tell you something else, too, though, having to do with society in general. And I know that on St. Elsewhere, two years ago, when Terrence Knox was written out of the show as the rapist, his fan mail increased about six times from women. And I'm not talking about women writing him to tell him he was a horribly despicable person. I'm talking about women writing to give them their phone numbers and say, please call. That, to me, says something. That, to me, maybe has something to do with why it's important to take this four hours of deliberate stranger and put it on the airways to people to react to and learn from. Seems to me to be a lesson le wrapped in there somewhere about potential victims. This is a guy who, who, who operated undetected for a great many years. And, and because of that, I think this becomes very important stuff. You obviously knew something about the Bundy story before you took this role. What was your first reaction when somebody said, ah, how'd you like to play Ted Bundy? My very first reaction upon reading the screenplay was a, a real potential excitement to have the capabilities or, or, or the opportunity to, to play a character that stretched an emotional range like this character does. Um, and then right after that, a very close second opinion was a chance to work with Marvin Chomsky, who's a director that I've long admired, who I had met four or five years ago and, and, and was looking forward to someday working with, and was instrumental uh, during this production in, in putting me in an atmosphere of, of total trust with him where I wasn't afraid to take those very chances. You have talked with people who knew Ted Bundy. Some of them were on the set, as I understand, through quite a bit of it, right? Yes. Some of them, in fact, confused you at times with Ted, calls you Ted, things like that. Is that, is that true? Well, yeah, that is true, Peter. Uh, uh, I think possibly you're referring to Dick Larson and his wife, Dini, uh, Dick who wrote the book, right. Deliberate Stranger. And, and also, there were other things that went on. I mean, over the eight weeks and nine weeks of this production, there was a lot of strange stuff that happened like that. You know, uh, I spent time with people who know Bundy pretty well. I mean, when you get out of California, where we shot some of this, and you get to Utah, where we shot for Colorado and Seattle, and we shot Florida for California. Um, this becomes very topical front page stuff. Everybody has a story. Everybody knew someone who knew someone who. Um, it's not hard to find information. Uh, it, it, people come out of the woodwork at you with, with, with information that is just volumes and volumes thick on this character. Very diverse stuff. Um, it was a constant learning addition process for me eclectic, if you will. I took some, I let go some. Uh, that people were at times confusing me with the real person, I guess is kind of a pat on the back. Um, I never thought about it that way. My preparation was done from reading material. I consciously stayed away from uh, meeting Bundy himself. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that, that this four hours does not glorify this guy, that, that it makes no other attempt than to dep depict him as what he is, that someone can watch this four hours and, and not come away from it, uh, you know, thinking that Ted Bundy is anything but guilty. You can see that Mark Harmon put a lot of research into this role, and even though some people think the role last night of Bundy was sympathetic, Harmon says you won't be left with anything but the monster tonight. Ted Bundy's final appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court has been rejected. That news just came in this morning, so Ted Bundy will die in the Florida electric chair. I covered that trial many years ago when he was on trial, and it was uh, 